to see something cool. Kato's like one of the most iconic parts of the Green Hornet, and filling that role was really important. Kato can kick ass, and he's an amazing martial artist, and he can build all these crazy cars and stuff like that. He's extremely charismatic and just awesome. He's Bruce Lee, for Christ's sakes. But all it was is that he was cool, basically. So we really just wanted to like explore who this guy was. What are you doing up there? Nice to meet you. I'm Kato. We started auditioning people from all around the world. There was this kid, Jay Chow. When he joined on, he said, you know, I don't want to do Bruce Lee. I just want to be Kato, and I'll do that my way. Bruce Lee is a legend. His Kato is a classic. Nobody can replace him. So I try to be myself. You just look at him, and you're like, damn, it's a cool dude. He really studied hard and worked hard in martial arts. And then we met Jeff Yamada, who was intimately familiar with Bruce Lee's actual fighting style. The present day Kato either had to be just like Bruce Lee, but be better than Bruce Lee, or go completely the other direction. <laughs> He does everything we thought he would do, but way cooler than we thought you could do it. Because we're not cool. Every weekend, where he wasn't working, he'd fly to China, or he'd fly to Taiwan, or he'd fly to Japan to do these concerts, and he is a megastar. I would say he's like the Chinese Justin Timberlake, but he says he's the Chinese Usher. He's like a modern-day Taiwanese Ponzi. At least he's not the Chinese Cisco. <laughs> That's all I'm happy about. Oh, <laughs>